Hi YouTube, it's Warren here again with Copeland Small Engine Repair. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to test this little device. This is the primer base assembly found on Echo carburetors on a lot of Echo weed eaters. And this thing, you need to test this, make sure it's good. Uh, you can see the primer bulb sits on this side down in this little groove. The other side is mounted directly against the carburetor when it's all put together. And what we have to check are these two little silver discs right here with holes in them. These are check valves. And they let fuel flow through them in one direction, but not back the other direction. And these go bad all the time. You need to be able to test these and make sure one or both of these check valves isn't stuck open or closed. And I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing you need is a vacuum pressure tester. If you have a small engine repair shop, I'm sure you already have one of these. If you don't, you need to get one. Uh, these are real handy in testing a lot of things. Carburetors, carburetor seals, needle and seat seal. Um, crankcase seals on chainsaws and weed eaters. They're very handy. This one tests vacuum and pressure. Uh, be careful, a lot of them only test vacuum, but this one tests both. I've had it about four years. I got it on eBay, I think about $40, about four years ago, and it still works just like brand new. Uh, one tip, do not get liquid in these. Don't use it for brakes or something with gas or oil and fill it full of any kind of liquid, and it'll probably last forever. A lot of people get these and they get them to test the, or to bleed their brakes and they get brake fluid in them and it ruins the seals and they get all mad, but get you one of these. Also need a doctor stethoscope. I use this stethoscope to hear air leaks in a lot of stuff. Uh, what you do, you pull the little drum out that's usually in the end of this hose and throw it away. So you just have a stethoscope with an open end hose. Uh, be careful though, because this is an open end of the hose. Uh, you get a lot of air pressure in there and you're going to blow your eardrums right out of your head. So don't be an idiot and injure yourself. Okay, first thing we're going to do, we're going to make sure uh, this is the primer bulb side. And the way this thing works, pressure goes through this thing, through both of these check valves that way, toward the primer bulb side. So first thing we're going to do is make sure pressure will go through both of these holes. So make sure they're not stopped up. I've got my little pressure vacuum tester here step down to a piece of regular Tygon hose so I can put it up against these things. Put your stethoscope in your ears. I usually just hold one end of this down with the other spigot because I'm listening for air coming out of this one from this check valve. And put that down there. Got this thing set to pressure. Put it on there, and you're going to need to hold it down really tight to seal off the air. And I can hear air in my stethoscope coming out of that spigot. So I know that check valve is letting air go through it in that direction. Now we're going to test this one. This check valve, the air from it comes out this little hole on the other side. It goes straight through the plate. So we're going to hold it down again, right under the hole that's under there. We're going to put this on there. Push down on it so it seals off. And I can hear air coming through it in my stethoscope. So I know both of these check valves are letting air go through them that direction. Now get rid of your stethoscope. Now we're going to check and make sure both of these are working to keep air from coming back the other direction. Uh, for this, you don't need the stethoscope. You're going to watch your gauge. You're going to switch this to vacuum. I'm going to put this over and try to get all this in the picture. You're going to hold this down over this one really tight and create a vacuum on it. And it's holding vacuum. You can see my needle there is not moving. That check valve is working. It's holding vacuum. Okay, we're going to move over to the next one. Put it down there, hold it down tight to seal it. And that check valve is holding vacuum. So we know both of these check valves are working. They're letting air pass through that direction. They're not letting anything come back this direction. Both check valves are working. This primer base assembly is good. So any problems I have with this carburetor, I know aren't in this piece right here. And this piece is 15 to $20 online, depending on where you buy it. So it's good to be able to test this thing. But anyway, that's how to test the primer base assembly on an Echo weed eater.
Thanks for watching.